We're going to talk about fasting to stop eating certain foods for a specific amount of time. You wonder why. Why would you do fasting? You're going to disappear. You're too thin. You're too healthy. Why would you do that? So I'm going to tell you four things what I do fasting and I'm going to share my experience with you. I've been fasting for the last three years, two times a year. I normally do it in the springtime, just like you prepare your garden, like you do your spring cleaning in your home. You can do fasting for different periods of time. Do it for hours, for days. Normally people start with one to three days. You can do for three to seven days. You can do seven to 10 days, or you can do more than 10 days. There are many reasons why to do it one way or the other. I invite you to research and see what is appealing to you and to your lifestyle. Why do I do fasting? So the first thing, why I do fasting is because it is a beautiful, healthy reset. So I press the pause button. I give my body a rest. I give my body what is the minimum simple foods that are needed so that I can reset, restore, and bounce back with more energy and clarity. It is a detoxifying process. So your body will invest less energy on digesting, more energy to go to other organs your body becomes more alkaline or alkaline so less acidic the second thing what i do it is because of awareness and you become much more aware of how your body and your mind interact with each other you start noticing what are the triggers that take you to the kitchen or to a certain type of foods or you start identifying what are the emotions that trigger an eating action or what are the things that trigger certain emotions? This is like a dance between your mind and your body, your conditioned mind and your conditioned body. And you start to identify things that make the journey to your self-awareness and to your self-knowledge enhance. The third point what I do it is I get back to basics. And back to basics means you realize you can live with less. And that brings you to prioritizing the things that you want to achieve in your life and to align those, those wishes or needs or calls with your actions. And you start reevaluating what are the habits you have and you start to realize whether you need to adjust them, to eliminate them or to create new, new habits. And the fourth point, which is my favorite one, one is the spiritual aspect of fast to strengthen your will you surrender to what is to what is available right there to that control environment that you created you become more sensitive or sensible you are more emotional maybe you're more in touch with yourself if you're a beginner and it's the first time you're fasting please do meditate for five to ten minutes you don't need more than that even five minutes will make a difference if you're an experienced meditator Please do take this time to go deeper, to dive deeper in your meditation and you will get such a incredible inspiration, creativity. You will flow. Fasting is an act of love, of self-care, of self-love. In these turbulent times, it is important to nurture and care for your own peace so that you can bring that as a wave to everyone around you.